Right, well here's our lovely Bantam 19. And if we start at the front, we've got the points that are in this housing here. If I just take off the, uh, the cover, we can see the points, ignition points in there. And there's a connection here for one of the leads and the other one goes to earth. And we've got a handle here where we can just advance and retard the ignition. And we've got a, uh, it's not a, actually a plastic, I think it's like a uh, Bakelite, clear Bakelite uh, tank. And um, on this, this would have originally had a piece of wire coming up out of the needle here to allow uh, better control of the needle valve without getting your in, uh, fingers a little bit hot. But I think this one has just been broken off at some point. Now, if, I, one of the things I love about these engines is the heads on them. Just the lovely thin machined um, fins and the dark paint, which is still in really good condition or anodizing. Now, if we turn this over, we can see on this side, we've got the original serial number and we can see inside the piston. Now, this is a lapped piston. There's no piston ring. I think we can just see that in there. And the spark plug we've got in, in is a, a Champion V3, one of the smallest, uh, or the smallest spark plug you can get. Next size up being the, uh, the, the V2 and just the V. So the V3 is the smallest. But these are lovely looking engines and this has great compression. I'm really pleased and really excited to get this engine. But you know what? We've Got to get it in the test stand and see how it runs. Well, I've got this lovely old engine in the test stand now and I am dead excited to get it running. I've checked the ignition circuit, I've got a good spark and I'm going to be running it on this Zynga wooden prop which is 9 by 6. Well, this ran beautifully. I got a real buzz out of getting this running. I'm still learning a little bit with the timing and the best place for starting, but once it was running, it was really sweet. And with this nine by six prop, we got about, I think it was six and a half thousand, just over RPM top speed, which was great. I mean, at the end of the day, we're talking about nearly an 80 year old engine here. And I loved running this, it's excellent. And I hope you enjoyed watching it as well.
Thanks very much.